Very important. For decades, PFAS were used in packaging, cleaning products, and foams. Now they're showing up in our drinking water. A new state dashboard tracks PFAS and water supplies. So far, it's identified 14 water systems that have potentially dangerous levels of the chemical in their water. But according to the state, just one of those wells does not yet have a plan to solve it. So we took a trip to check it out. A quick ferry ride takes us to Kitsap County and the people living in one mobile home park in Silverdale feel drinking out of the sea is about as safe as a sip from their sink. I bathe with it. I launder with it. That's it. I won't even wash my car with it. We're constantly having to clean our showers out, our washers out, the sinks. This is the well that supplies the 20 or so homes in the Clear Creek Mobile Home Park. The water system has been an issue since I've been here. Art Hammonds lived here for two decades. You can turn on your faucet and you can smell the chlorine so heavily from them treating the well. Northwest Water Systems manages the park and told us those issues are not a health concern, just signs of an aging water system and within acceptable standards. But a letter from the state highlights another problem they can't see or smell. According to the Department of Health, their well has nearly three times the perfluoric octane sulfonic acid deemed by the state safe to consume. Pretty much a real bad combination. I drank some pretty foul water in the Marine Corps and nothing like this. Homeowners here tell us they spend about $40 a person per month on water bottles because they don't feel safe using their running water. Northwest Water System was notified of the results in February and two additional samples confirmed the high levels of PFAS. We took list, those findings to University of Washington numbers, toxicology professor Judith Marcilla. It is not good to see levels that are higher than the limit. They are not extremely higher to me still not safe. Down the road from Naval Base Kitsap, Clear Creek is just one example of a community near a military base detecting PFAS in their water. Across the country, firefighting foams containing the chemicals were used in military training exercises for decades. There's no safe level of these chemicals in our bodies. Marcilac says pregnant women, children, and elderly people are especially at risk. Researchers found exposure has led to an increased risk of cancer, fertility, and kidney disease. So this year, the state of Washington started requesting public systems share data from drinking wells, marking the wells that have some levels of PFAS, a high enough level to trigger state action like at Clear Creek, and an expected stricter maximum contaminant level will be established by the Environmental Protection Agency early next year. Northwest Water Systems engineers are actively working on PFAS treatment plans, but told us cost is a big barrier, as are those new rules from the EPA that still aren't hammered out. They're waiting to understand what the maximum contaminant level is going to be before they take additional action. <sighs> that doesn't help the people to live here now. You know, there's too much bureaucratic crap going on. You know, they need to handle this. But the problem's not going away anytime soon, and not just present near bases, airports, and factories. Scientists say 98% of people on Earth have detectable levels of forever chemicals. Persistent organic pollutants, they can stay in our environment for about a thousand years. Marcilax says teaching people about the dangerous chemicals and government agencies setting safety standards will make a difference. Now I know and I have all this information and this is what I can do with my own resources. So that state dashboard doesn't include private wells, those with less than 15 households or the Department of Defense. The state is still waiting on results from about three quarters of public wells. But when these problems are identified, making changes to water systems takes time and a lot of money. Tomorrow on King 5 Mornings, we head to Lakewood, where the water district there has redesigned their system to prevent contamination and what challenges they've ran into along the way. So Drew, how expensive would it be to filter the PFAS out of the water system at a place like that mobile home park? Yeah, so this is a small mobile home park we're talking about, but it would be about $200,000 just for this community with Eight about years. 20 homes. So when you amplify that with communities that have thousands of people, like we're gonna talk about tomorrow, it can get really expensive. Wow.